Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sean here for another edition of Sean Solo, and today I want to talk to you about Broforce. Broforce came out, uh, I think, last year on PC, um, and it's something I kind of like was in the back of my mind. I heard about it, like, oh, that sounds interesting. It sounds fun. It sounds like it might be something unique, but it looked more like funny than anything. So I guess I, I wasn't willing to like kind of take the chance on like spending money on the game. You know, just something about it just wasn't like grabbing me immediately. So, um, this past month, uh, if you have PlayStation 4, the PlayStation Plus game for the month, month was of April. So we're in April. No, March. We're in March. Was uh, Broforce. One of two games. That and Galaxy, which I haven't got a chance to get into. But I probably will. Maybe I'll do a review about that. But uh, I played... I played through Broforce. I actually was kind of sick over the past few days and ended up just like kind of lounging on the couch, uh, drinking water and taking cold medicine and playing Broforce, which was actually a really nice way to be sick. It's kind of like, you know, Broforce is a lot of things, right? It's a 2D side scrolling action shoot 'em up, kind of reminiscent of like, maybe like, like lightly reminiscent of, um, Mechanically, anyways, like Metal Slug or the Contra games, you know, it's got similarities with those games. Not, ex they're not entirely similar. Like once you get into the game and once you start playing, playing and using the mechanics and what you can and cannot do, and kind of the the whole, I guess, the aesthetic of the game, right? But there's like the spirit is there. The spirit is the same. If you were to give the elevator pitch, if I were to like, you know, recommend this to somebody or give the short description, that's what I would say. Like, well, it's kind of like Metal Slug or Contra. That would be my, like, just very basic, very reductive description of the game. Uh, this game's got kind of a, a neat angle where you are, you can play as, like, you know, a copious amounts of, like, action stars from the 80s and 90s. Well, not stars, but they're characters. Um, like, for instance, there's a, there's, like, two different, like, Arnold Schwarzeneggers you can be. I think there's only two. There might be another one. I can only remember two. Uh, there's a few, like, John claude Van Damme's. Um, there's only one Sylvester Stallone's, uh, surprisingly, um, you know, because Rambo, which I'm surprised I didn't have Cobra in there, unless he's, like, some sort of, like, super unlock or something like that, but it even goes further than that, like, you can be Ellen Ripley, uh, you can be, uh, the Bride from the Kill Bill movies, you can be, uh, Cherry Darling from Planet Terror, you know, so, like, there was a good, like, kind of mixture, you can be Will, S or Will Smith from Men in Black, can't remember his character, K, character K. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff like this, a lot of interesting, <laughs> like fun. It makes you laugh every time you unlock a character. You start laughing. You're like, you know, when I uh, would unlock like Braveheart or it's like Broheart or whatever. You know, they change everything to be like fit in with the the like the branding of the game. So everybody's like the Bromer Bromernator and shit like that. You know, um, but it never really got old actually. And I'm pretty sure I unlocked all the characters. I'm fairly certain I did. Um, and it's one of these games, you know, it starts off kind of simple, and then as it goes, it gets more complex, and the enemies become more difficult, and yada, 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 and I would say, overall, it's a pretty good game. Uh, it's fun. Like, it was a fun way to spend, like, a couple sick days. I never got overly, um, frustrated with anything. Um, I think the challenge in the game seemed pretty fair. Uh, it never felt overwhelming. Um, I can't speak to the PC version but I imagine that the PC version probably runs better than the PlayStation 4 version. And it's something that I've noticed, of, like, a little bit, of, of, like, with these kind of, these, a lot of these indie games, even these kind of more simple ones, is that they kind of run like garbage on consoles. Um, I know, like, Firewatch, like, I did a review for Firewatch, that game runs like garbage on consoles, but, like, I would, I can maybe expect it with something like that. With the 2D side-scroller, when I have, like, frame rate drops to, like, maybe, like, between, like, 7 and 15... Um, it made it actually difficult. There are certain times in the game where you'll have so much shit going on on screen that, and like, and then the, you know, the frames just drop. You can literally can't control your character, and you have to kind of make some fine mechanical movement uh, to navigate some of this stuff, because that's the whole point of it. It's a fucking platform shooter, right? So it's all about having exacting control over your characters. Uh, because, you know, in this game, it's a one, you, for the most part, it's, you know, one hit deaths. And, um, and you accumulate lives by saving POWs, which are like the other Bro Force guys and gals. Um, so, 
and as you die, like, you will randomly just, like, get a different person. Um, which, you know, it's both good and bad, I suppose, right? It's part of the game. It's kind of like a little bit of a, a, a roll of the dice, if you will, in terms of how you play. Like, it's not good to get used to, like, one play style. I mean, there's kind of a handful of characters that will play the same, and then another handful that will kind of play the same. But there are a few, you know, a unique ones. Like, I was actually surprised at the amount of melee characters that were in the game. Like, you could be Neo, you could be Blade, the Bride is uh, a melee character. Um, the Predator was kind of, or the Broad Editor <laughs> was kind of, uh, was kind of melee. Um... And at first, like, you know, when I was first playing the game, I was like, oh, I just want to be the shooting guy. I was like, I want to play it like Contra. I want to play it uh, like Metal Slug. And once you kind of get into the game and you get used to it, like, give those, like, you know, don't give up just because you have, like, the, these melee guys. Because it feels kind of like a waste at first. At first it felt that way until I was, like, really comfortable with the game. Even with the simple mechanics, like, it... You'd, I needed, like, at least... It took me a couple hours, really, to get proficient at the game. I would never say I was great or amazing or good, but I was good enough to, like, beat it through the end, right? Um, and I never really got hung up too bad. I got hung up on a couple levels, like, early on in my playing, because I just kind of... I don't know what it was. Like, I mean, I was also, like, ostensibly, like, high on cold medicine, so that might have, you know affected my fine motor skills or something, but, um, you know, just kind of take a step back, maybe shut it off, watch TV for a little bit, and then come back and play the game, and that would beat it no problem. Almost kind of like a puzzle game, right? Like, like uh, I reviewed The Witness a little while ago. That was a game, step back from it, you come back like an hour later or something, and you immediately like figure it out. Kind of similar with Bro Force, um, for some reason. Not that it's a puzzle game or anything like that. Um, but it is, it's fairly, like, shallow game. I mean, like, there isn't, once, especially once you unlock all the bros and bro dudes and bro gals, there isn't a ton left. I was kind of, like, bummed, you know, once I got that, like, once I collected all the dudes that I could unlock, and then there was kind of no more unlocks, like, that, that terrible part of the human brain that wants, like, the bells and the whistles and, like, uh, the fireworks to go off because I've done something because I've leveled up and like shredding guitar solos like the part of me that the terrible part of all of us that is attracted to those kind of like identifiers of success once that went away it did kind of diminish the game a little bit towards the end um, because that was kind of part of the fun of the game was like the discovery aspect um, in my opinion it was the discovery of the new characters uh, the new areas the interesting scenarios, and then the, it does kind of hit a wall towards the end of the game where it's like, okay, I've kind of seen, which makes sense, right? Like, they build up, they iterate, and then they kind of, and then it and then it kind of becomes redundant, right? But that's any fucking game, honestly. So it's not a total knock against the game, and it's not like a, a, a wholly damning criticism, because, um, because all games are kind of like that to a certain extent. But I will say that it did kind of, like, it made it, like, you know, towards the end of the game, I almost, like, didn't finish it. Um, I actually finished it, what, like, last night at some point. And, like, I almost didn't finish it because the thing that kind of kept me going back was, like, the chuckles. was kind of the superficial parts of the game of, like, laughing at stuff. Um, this is kind of, might maybe a mild spoiler. Not that this is a game you can really spoil. <laughs> Because it's really just not that kind of game. But like about like midway through, I think, at some point, like you're fighting aliens and xen like xenomorphs and facehuggers and stuff like that from the Aliens franchise, and uh, I, that was really fun. It was really funny. It was really like clever. Uh, it was a really clever like like twist. Because up to that point, you're just killing terrorists and you're like raw 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 Ukraine. How about our crane or my crane? All these kind of stupid like really like nationalistic. Uh, kind of jokes, and the super, like, rah-rah, like, 80s, early 90s, like, America, fuck yeah, type stuff. Kind of like, it's, the thing that it reminds me the most of is, like, maybe, a uh, uh, Team America World Police, uh, the Matt Stone and Trey Parker, the South Park Guys movie, like, it's kind of felt like that to a certain degree, in terms of humor, and, um... Not that there is really that much humor. Like, I don't know why I found it as, as humorous as I did. 
I mean, it's it's, made, it's definitely there to make you laugh. It's there to, so you get a chuckle. People of a certain age demographic, which I kind of fall right in that sweet spot, like myself and probably people that are a little bit older than me, right into that fucking sweet spot of of this target audience, the kind of like genre cinema nerd video game player. Uh, like, definitely appeals to that. Uh, because, like, it's reminiscent of games we used to play, but it's also reminiscent of the media we used to consume and sometimes still do. Uh, I wish I wish there was a Kurt Russell character. That would have been sweet if Kurt Russell from The Thing or from Big Trouble in Little China. Like, wh- what's going on, bro, Force? What the fuck? Um, also, they didn't have, um, what's her name? Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor would have been a good addition, too. Sarah Connor was not in this. And that was just kind of surprising because the Terminator was in it. So, um, And the Predator was in it. And Arnold Schwarzenegger from the Predator was in it. So there's, like... So it's, you know, it's meant to be funny. But, like... I don't know. There's no, like, jokes outside of, like I said, there's some nationalistic kind of jokes. Like, you have this general dude, and uh, he kind of, like, gives you, like, a a one sentence thing when you get to like a destination it's got like this overworld map for some reason which is a cool little thing it's not like not any crazy awesome or anything but it's this cool like a little overworld map and you're in a helicopter and you're flying around you go to each area and you can kill birds with your with your helicopter it's pretty awesome pretty fuck yeah pretty brotastic um but so, but that was definitely part of the enjoyment, like I said, and once I kind of stopped discovering new things, it did kind of, it did deter it a little bit. I wish they had kind of even changed it, because they're, I feel like the last third of the game, I wish they had changed it up like one more time, I guess, during that third, like when you're going into your final boss stuff, and this is a spoiler, you're, you're fighting Satan uh, the whole time, which is pretty incredible. Uh, it was... <laughs> I mean, just, it makes, like, the concept is funny. It's not, like, really the jokes or anything, but, like, the the aesthetic design and just the concept of all these heroes together, super funny. To me, it is, anyways. Like, maybe I'm just, it's easy to make me laugh. I don't know. Um, I'm not a student of comedy, I guess. I mean, I, I enjoy comedy, but, you know, it is what it is. Sorry, I'm looking at the division, it's downloading right now. So I figured I'd do this while the division was downloading. Um, what else can I say about Broforce? Like I said, I think you could probably get it on PC. I would probably recommend that. That would be a better alternative, uh, just because it runs. It kind of like it has performance issues on the P- PlayStation Four, which is shocking. I was just really surprised. I mean, it's a 2D side scroller for Christ's sakes. I don't know what's going on with. Uh, porting stuff over to PS4, which, you know, because PS4 has been awesome for, like, you know, offering things like this, and, and, like, you know, especially on PlayStation Plus, they're taking these little titles and they're kind of, like, exposing them to a larger audience and giving them a chance for real, like, success and real growth. Um, You know, obviously, the big runaway hit of last year was uh, Rocket League. You know, if it wasn't for PlayStation Plus, Rocket League probably would not have been the kind of phenomenon it was. If I would have had a modest audience, I think people would have liked the game. It's, It's a solid game. But, like, being able to get, like, you know, millions of people to download it just because it's free right off the bat is a pretty, it's kind of a, a cool thing. Uh, but they're really good about their indie stuff. Actually, there's, it's their indie selection is kind of coming almost like the way Steam has it, where it's just kind of a clusterfuck. I think the PlayStation Store is, like, really hard to navigate. Uh, it's not super easy to, to, like, find shit that's not just, like, the big stuff. You know, if I want to look through their catalog, I feel like I have to go through too many submenus. Um, I wish there was something similar. I think Steam. I mean, when you're talking about having as many games, especially like Steam, Steam does a pretty decent job of like not curation, obviously, because they just kind of dump whatever on there. It's pretty apparently it's pretty easy to get something on Steam, um, at least for the time being. That might change because people are complaining. A lot of people complain about just all the the shovelware that's on there. Uh, and I hope that kind of PlayStation does not fall into that same thing, because I feel there is a lot of shovelware on uh, on PlayStation. Uh, you know, Broforce is not one of those games, but, like, there is there is a lot. I mean, I'm struggling to come up with a name right now because I'm on the spot. But there is. Trust me, it's there. It's there. What are you talking about? It's fucking there. You know it is. I know it is. But, yeah, Broforce. I would say get it on PC. I bet you can get it cheaper 
Uh, well, you're not going to get it cheaper than free, but it'll probably won't. It, I'm sure by this by this time, it's not a super expensive game. You could probably get it would be like a good like five ten dollar buy. Um, if you enjoy these kind of things, um, it's not the top of the heap like I th- think for 2D side scrollers, but like it is a decent like couple day distraction for sure. It's fun to play through if you are of a certain type of person. If you're kind of like me, if you've watched this channel and you like you know hear me talk about movies. When I occasionally do that, talk about video games, I think you probably get a kick out of it. And if you have PlayStation Plus, it's free. It's free. So get that shit. It's totally worth it. Worth every penny. All right, everybody, I'm Sean, and I will talk to you guys next time I have something to talk about. Goodbye.